breaking news. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today for chapter 202 of Kometsu no Yaiba and what I feared has actually happened. Now, we're going to sit here and talk about this because I think this is absolutely absurd and um, yeah, I'm just going to give you my thoughts and feelings on it. There's no reason any of this should have happened at all. I'm just going to put that out there. But before we get into that, if you are new, go plus ultra and smash that subscribe button. Let me know you rock with the content that I put out here on this channel. And without further ado, let's get into this review. Now, what am I talking about? What am I referring to? If you have read the most recent chapter of Kometsu no Yaiba, you should have because this review is going up really late. It's Wednesday. The chapter releases noon on Sundays. I will try my best to do better. Anyway, uh, we open up with the chapter and uh, Nezuko has finally popped on the scene. Nezuko throws herself in front of Tanjiro to stop him for whatever reason she does. And I get it. Shonen character, Shonen sister, trying to protect older brother. It, it doesn't work out. You, if you can't see that he is a full-fledged demon, not just a demon, but uh, the embodiment, the manifestation of Musen himself, the, the 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 demon king, she throws herself in front of him, and then she gives that line. She's like, "Why is it you who's always suffering? Why do kind people who struggle every day?" What? Nezuko. You just turned back into a human. You've been a demon living in a shoebox, carrying, being carried around on this man's back since chapter, what, two? So over 200 chapters, you've been in a shoebox, not able to see the sunlight, only being able to come out in the dark. You have suffered more than anybody in this entire series. This is a little, you know, this is a bump in the road for Tanjiro right here. This is, this is cakewalk for him. You see what I'm saying? But... Of course, because he's the embodiment of Musen, because he is the Demon King child himself, uh, he begins to rip at her, like, shoulder at her flesh, trying to get her off of him. And, like, you know, Inosuke tries to rush in there and, like, stop him. I guess this is his second attempt to take Tanjiro's head. But the nigga drops his swords. And so what does he do? He hits him on the back of the head and tells him to knock it off. I'm sorry, why are we not taking this shit seriously? Like, for real, Tomioka is the only character this entire chapter that is taking Tanjiro being the new host for Musen as a serious threat. Zenetsu, bitch nigga Zenetsu, he's doing bitch nigga shit. That's what he does. He's done it the entire series. A couple subconscious attacks that's, you know, flash, flash, steppy step. That's not going to make up for what the fuck he's doing here. He is no help whatsoever. Of course, all of this, you know, for the first, like, you know, six, seven pages of this chapter are just talk no jutsu aspects of this entire chapter. I mean, there's really no other way to really get around it. Tomioka is the only one with the shits. He's ready to knuck if he's buck. He's ready for it. Um, but just as Tomioka is coming in for real, what does Tanjiro do? He does exactly what we've seen Musen do for, like, ten chapters. He does a, a loud screech. The, the, the ground cracks underneath him, and everyone goes flying off for, like, the fourth time. Um, since the final art for some reason Nezuko was the only one who was not flung backwards and she's still trying to talk this man down She's like don't give in Tanjiro, please brother. I'm like Nezuko. This cannot be The hill that you're ready to die on Tomioka comes in and he's he's trying to fuck Tanjiro up like Tomioka is About that life. Yeah, we cool and everything we cool because you was a human But now you a demon so we not cool anymore and I've always loved the fact that uh, Tomioka has stuck to his guns no matter what and he states that, oh, snap, Tanjiro, he's, he's, uh, he's got the taste of blood. There's no going back at this point. I have to kill him now. But he knows he can't do it by himself. This is kind of where everything starts to go even more into the gutter. Um, Inosuke, he's completely out of commission. Zenetsu, Zenetsu's being pinned down by another Demon Slayer. I think they finally understood that Zenetsu is not shit. And he's actually not helping at all. The one person, for real, that could blitz Tanjiro and take his head in this moment is Zenetsu. But he is dick riding Nezuko and just being, oh my god, I cannot express. I have to stop talking about Zenetsu because if I continue to talk about him, it's going to upset me like he's always upset me, okay? And that's never changed. Fast forward, we're on page 11, and uh, Tanjiro, he's about to unleash an attack we have never seen Musen do, at least to the best of my knowledge. Um, he, he opens his mouth and lets out like a... a, a a fucking Nova Blast, but Nezuko puts her human hand out in front of it 
and like I guess changes the trajectory or something along those lines. It doesn't hit his target. He's aiming at Tomioka. She puts her she puts her hand out in front of his mouth. The blast hits the hand and it doesn't reach Tomioka. Hand bleeding. Um, and this is where Tomioka and we get the revelation of what's happening. And um, Tomioka has that in internal monologue where he's like, oh, snap, there's fresh blood right in front of Tanjiro. Why is he not going after Nezuko? And this is where we get the understanding that Tanjiro is still in there somewhere fighting for his sanity, fighting for his life and just his being as a whole. I call bullshit. You weren't able to overpower Musin by yourself. So I don't think that your subconscious mental in this very weakened state would ever be able to overpower a Musin. But whatever. Um, Yoshiro. All right, Yoshiro is like, there's nothing he can do. The, the sun is out. Yoshiro is a demon. He cannot help, even if he wanted to. The seals that he made burn up in the sunlight. So I guess the seals are only good in, 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 in nighttime. I don't know why I forgot that, or if it was even ever revealed to us that the seals will burn up in the daylight, but that was the case that happened. And now, for the very end of this chapter, which I only have one word to summarize it, is convenient. It is fucking convenient shit that happens in this final arc of this series. And it's... <laughs> I have been asking where Kano has been for like eight chapters. Of course I'm being facetious, but I have asked, at least I know for five chapters. Where is Kano? Where is she? What happened to her? Is she dead? She only got hit one time. And I think it was by just the, the, the radius blast that Musen let off. She wasn't even physically hit. No, wait. I think she was. It was, yeah. I think she was actually physically hit. But nonetheless, she's fine. She's fine. I mean, yeah, blind in one eye. But, you know, that wasn't because of Musen. That was because of her using her flower breathing. Right? So those are self-inflicted wounds to her eye. And now we get this flashback this this again an internal monologue and it's of uh where we learn about tomeo making three drugs for turning demons to human beings um she says that this vial conveniently wasn't needed for musin i don't know why you wouldn't pump him full of as much poison as humanly possible or as demonly possible in order to convert him why would you leave a vial left out on trying to destroy the king of demons what sense does that make it doesn't make sense i don't care oh i made four vials but i think we're only gonna need three what give me the fourth vial and make six more because we're gonna he, he's gonna die it's either he's gonna turn back to human with these vials or we're gonna kill him from a drug overdose Get, why, why did you leave a vial for yo for real tomato shinobu not shinobu kane look all of this could have been avoided if we actually gave Musin the fourth vial. For all we know, four vials would have cured him. And all this bloodshed, limb loss, and lives lost could have been avoided. But convenient is for convenience sake. And so now, she has the vial of Wisteria Flower. And um, this is where things really start to go, a, you know, kind of more grim. Because she was one of the favorite characters. I don't like to see flower breathing disappear forever, but... She activates her final form of her flower breathing, the vermilion eye. She rushes into Tanjiro. She jumps, smacks him with the vial, but they trade blows, and she also gets hit herself. It looks to be, I want to say that hit goes right across her chest, but it's hard to make out from the panels that are giving, but she is most definitely hit, but she also hits Tanjiro. And um, the very last page of this chapter, page 19 of chapter 202, you see Tanjiro having this confused look on his face this very painful look on his face and who knows maybe the vial is also going to help him fight off musin i don't even know what the speculations are at this but let me know what you think is going to happen to tanjiro down in the comment section below if you made it to the end thank you for rocking with me hit the subscribe button if you are new go plus ultra um join the squad like the video share the video comment on the video and like always keep it safe and wrap it tight i'm out The Russians ain't gonna let this massacre go unanswered. It's gonna get bloody. Too right, mate. Now in the eyes of the world, they're the victims. No one's gonna say a word when the Russians club every American they can reach. Makarov was one move ahead. Now he's left thousands of bodies at the feet of an American. We're the only ones who know it was Makarov's up. Our credibility died with Alan. 
We need proof. Follow the shell. Alejandro Rojas. Never heard of him, sir. You know him as Alex the Red. He supplied the assault. <sighs> One bullet to unleash the fury of a whole nation. Which means that he's our ticket to Makarov. Ghost, the plates are a match. Copy. Any sign of Rojas' right hand man? Negative. They've stopped twice already, no sign of him. Wait, they stopped again. Stand by. Got a positive ID. Whoever these guys are, they're not happy to see him. Ghost, we have a situation here. Get down, get down! <laughs> Getting away, Ghost, let's go, let's go! Ghost, a driver's dead. We're on foot. Meet us at the...